da 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 da. Now that that familiar sound that you're hearing on the pedal there is called alternating bass, and it's one of the foundations of the sound of of music from so many eras. Hey everybody, this is Tom here at Keyboard Skills Pro. And um, we're here today at the Virtual Theatre Organ for a video for one of my patrons. And I'd like to say a huge thank you to Philip Russell for suggesting this as one of his personally recorded YouTube videos. Now, now the, the great thing about these videos is that the questions come from the patrons and um, I can then record them and put them on YouTube so of course we can all share them. But this is because Philip signed up as a gold member um, on Patreon to support the channel and that means he gets three custom lessons recorded for him but we also like to share them around with the other folks as well. So Philip is um, now exploring pedal chord patterns with me in lessons and uh, so he said hey Tom he said I'm always sometimes a little confused about which pedal goes with the chord that I'm playing because he said I know I know obviously that B flat chord um, needs a B flat pedal and he said I know that C needs a C pedal and he said I know that F needs an F pedal but he said I understand there's this this kind of partner note, an alternate note that you can use with the same chord. So he said, but I'm not fully sure always how to work that out. So I said, well, hey, Philip, that's a great question. And let's see if we can dive into it now. So first of all, let's take a basic pedal chord pattern a bit like this. Now what I'm doing here, this, this can be on your theater organ, your electronic organ, doesn't matter what it is. I'm playing a C pedal with um, my left foot and I'm playing a C chord with my left hand and I'm alternating pedal chord. Now that's fine and uh, by the way there is actually a video here on the channel that covers a big selection of basic um, pedal chord patterns if you haven't haven't watched that um, this is one of the patterns that we learn um, in our, our organ lessons now if I then go to an F chord you can see that I'm playing my F pedal and I'm playing my G with my G pedal so that's fine that works okay but what would make it sound a lot more interesting is if we did a thing called an alternate pedal um, on the second part of the bar so then the C chord would sound like this and the F chord would sound like this and the E flat chord would sound like this etc so how does alternating bass work well I've got my put my posh shoes on today for this video <laughs> and let's now show you first of all what are we doing on the pedals well well, you have to first of all understand there are two notes that go with chords normally. Uh, we have the root note, which is the note um, that has the same letter as the chord. So if it's a C chord, you play a C pedal. If you have an F chord, you play an F pedal. If you have a D minor chord, you play a D minor D pedal. Now, the type of chord doesn't matter it's the bass that is just a single note. So in other words, if it's a minor, a major, so if we do D major, look, D minor, D uh, diminished, D augmented, D suspended fourth, whatever, they all have to have a D pedal with them to sound correct because that is the letter that's in the chord. So the letter of the chord gives you your bass um, pedal note. Now, the thing is, if you just stay on that D pedal look, it sounds okay, but what sounds a lot more interesting is that. So how do I know which pedal up here just to jump to? Well, it's all to do with the circle of fifths. Okay, so in a key, as we know, let's go back to the keyboard for a minute just for ease of use. If we're in, let's go back to the key of C. So we have the tonic home note, which is the key of C, um, which is down here, and this is our home note. Okay, so that's where we're going back to each time. Um, we then can count up five keys from that C look, and we get the key's dominant note. This is the fifth note of the scale. And listen to what happens when I go from C to G. It alternates comfortably. The C gives us our home sound, our keynote. The G is an alternative to that, but it has to push back to there. 
and that's why it's called alternating it's like alternating current in electricity so that's how the basic sound works it's the root note and then the fifth note above it and that's how the basics of alternating bass work so if we now go to the pedals and we press our C pedal at the bottom I've then got to jump to my G pedal for the third beat of the bar because normally in pedal chord it's one two three four the pedal plays on the first and the third so if I'm going to play an alternate I don't want to play it on the first beat I want to play it on the second beat so I start with my C on beat one alternate that with my chord and while the chords playing my leg moves up to G to play the alternate pedal look five one two three four five so you have to feel that swing you may overshoot if this is the first time you're going to try this you might not go far enough you might not go you might go too far so it's just finding that nice thing but notice how when I push the pedal look my foot is moving ahead to get there you can't go like that because it's too snatchy look you've got to be there in advance so C and while the chord is playing just glide your foot to G and it's learning in your mind's eye that distance so you can do it without looking so that's the first thing that happens is we go from the root note of the chord and then five keys up by the way when we're counting we always count the first one as number one so C is number one two three four five so what about the key of D well again take the D note count up five keys one two three four five and you land on an A now if that was D major the D major scale of course has an F sharp in it but that doesn't matter so much because in both the keys major and minor the A and the D are both natural so that one we can get away with and in fact most of the white pedals as we call them the white note keys the fifth is always going to be um, a long pedal or a, um, or a, a, what we call a white note pedal D A E goes with B and you can see as you got the pedals F C G D A E B and F <laughs> that's, a, that's an interesting one that's a diminished interval so um, we need a, an F sharp for that one to make it sound right it always has to be a perfect fifth that's the interval now the thing is what then happens is that the problem with an octave is an octave doesn't actually have a middle center point that kind of makes the octave even because if we go C to G that's a perfect fifth but what if I went from C at the top down to G so we four look so it's a fifth if you go up but it's a fourth if you come down and that's because the octave the center point is about here to make it sound nice the actual real middle of the octave is the F sharp but of course that doesn't sound so pleasant being a tritone so if you start on the C in the middle of the pedal this, this for some of you with an octave of pedals if you're playing on your home electronic organs your pedals might stop on this thing so this is what we call top C of most home organ pedals if you have a two octave pedal board say on a Verzi or a Ringway or maybe a big Lowry this one is kind of the middle of the pedal board and a lot of folks don't use the ones up here but this this will call sort of top C for now so then I've got to come down look to G and I alternate like this if I put the pedal camera on of course that would help Tom there you go look and there's C and G but it's only four notes down if you play the F key look and then go up to C it's five but if I go down to C it's four so that's because an octave is split into two different um, groups a fifth and a fourth what about some of the black note chords what about the B flat chord well obviously B flat is what we use to start with on the pedal so we play B flat and then we count up work it out on your keyboard look that's the best way to do it one two three four five and what you do is you always work it out with the scale so I need to put my E flat in look so of the alternate note to B flat is a fifth above so I could go up to F if I'm feeling adventurous but if you want to stick just to your left foot B flat has to go down to F and that is because there we've got a fourth look so there we go so we're going down like that um, if I'm playing a C section like this 
do do. I could jump up to C. Do do. And a lot of mulches, the the base goes down rather than up. In fact, here's a uh, on the. Funny enough, as I played Colonel Bogey, here is Colonel Bogey the march. Um, a little bit slower, so you can see the pedals. And I'm going to start on my D up here. Look. Do 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 do. And then down. Da, ba, so I'm jumping. Look. Five, four, because it's a fifth going up or a fourth going down. So you can jump around if you've got the extra pedals. You can go beyond the C and use the D, maybe the E flat. That's about as far as you want to go with your left foot because then your right foot would start to come into the equation. But something like this. And then sometimes stay on the pedal. Da dum, da 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 dum, ba 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 ba. Walking bass down. There's the alternate. But instead of just doing that all the time, look, I can go up to D and play my fourths. So that's how alternating bass works. It's the the root note, the letter that is the same as the chord symbol. So if it's a B flat minor chord, you play a B flat. If it's a B flat major chord you play a B flat. If it's B flat minus seven, guess what? You play B flat. And you all you can get um, a whole sheet of these alternate pedals. And what I've done is I've actually written them all out for you. All the pedals the in the octave that you're likely to play, I've put down a whole sheet which you can download as a bonus PDF that goes with this um, lesson when you sign up and support my channel via patreon.com. Because obviously the support that the lovely people on there do is to help me pay for cameras and software and equipment and generally support the channel. So if you sign up for silver level or above, you can get a massive collection of bonus videos that aren't available anywhere else on YouTube um, and also lots of uh, PDFs as well. So lots of cool things that you get on there on patreon.com, including this PDF. So once again, thank you ever so much to Philip for asking about how to play alternating bass. Hope that's been useful. Just remember it's about fifths and fourths and uh, download your sheet and that will help you hopefully get into playing the pedals a bit more those of you who are not doing it so take care everybody thanks for watching and we'll see you soon don't forget to subscribe bye bye <laughs>